afternoon. Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, uh, so I am Anuma Prematilaka, moderator for today's webinar. Uh, at the outset, uh, I would like to welcome all the uh, uh, resource persons, uh, distinguished invitees, and the participants for this uh, uh, webinar. Uh, as the lockdowns became, uh, became the new novel and the social distancing, businesses and uh, consumers increasingly went digital, uh, providing or the supplying and uh, their goods and also purchasing uh, their uh, requirements uh, through online. Identifying uh, this uh, predominant trend in export market, Sri Lanka Export Development Board in collaboration with Sri Lanka Embassy in China uh, is uh, is organizing this awareness webinar on opportunities available for Sri Lankan exporters at the e-commerce platforms in China. China is a very important market for Sri Lanka. Uh, so I think uh, today's uh, webinar will give good insights into how we can sell uh, our products to Chinese markets uh, online. Uh, just to give some idea about how we organize this webinar, uh, this will be under three main uh, uh, sections. First is the inaugural session, and then we will go to the technical information uh, sharing session, and uh, lastly, Q&A session. Uh, we have allocated 20 minutes for inaugural session, uh, 45 minutes for technical information session and and 20 minutes for Q&A session. We are about to uh, finish this session by 2.30 p.m. Sri Lanka time. So with that uh, introductory remarks, uh, I cordially invite Mr. Suresh Dimel, Chairman and Chief Executive of Sri Lanka Export Development to uh, deliver the welcome speech. Sir, over to you. Sir, your mic is on mute. Good afternoon to all of you. I welcome all of you to this very important webinar on opportunities available for Sri Lankan exporters at the e-commerce platforms in China. I take this opportunity to convey my gratitude to His Excellency Dr. Palita Kohana the Ambassador for Sri Lanka in China for the contribution and support extended to the EDB to promote exports in China. I also welcome and thank the guest speakers of the webinar, Mr. Tony Meng, Director, International Cooperation Department, Prestige International Trading Company Limited for joining the webinar. The Sri Lanka Export Development Board has signed an MOU with the Kofco Omai Investment Company Limited in year 2021 with the intention to promote Sri Lanka National Pavilion through their online platform www.womai.com where Prestige International Trading Company is representative company in China to engage in liaison, promotion, trade, and other activities related to the vomai.com and jd.com platforms. The Sri Lanka National Pavilion of the vomai.com and jd.com were developed with the intention to promote economic cooperation between Sri Lanka and China and export of Sri Lanka's value-added products and services, as well as commodities to China and to demonstrate various aspects of, the Sri, of Sri Lanka, such as culture, tradition, and trade among Chinese consumers. However, many problems were encountered by the administration parties of the above promotional platforms when registering Sri Lankan private sector companies to the, to the above due to lack of knowledge on e-commerce operations, branding, packaging, and logo registration requirements. 
Therefore, the EDB and the Sri Lankan Embassy in China decided to organize an informational webinar with the assistance of Prestige International Trading Company Limited and Kofko Womai Investment Company Limited. We believe this will be a good platform for Sri Lankan business community to be made aware on the opportunities available for Sri Lankan exporters at e-commerce platforms in China. There are over 100 participants registered for this webinar from different sectors, and also there are participants who watch the webinar live through Facebook and YouTube. I believe you will get the maximum out of this opportunity. Hope you will be better equipped to penetrate the Chinese market through e-commerce platforms while making strong trade ties with your counterparts in China. I wish you all every success in this endeavor. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Chairman, uh, for your uh, welcome remarks uh, inaugurating the session. Uh, now, according to the agenda, I would uh, like to uh, warmly invite uh, His Excellency, uh, Dr. Palita Kohona, uh, Ambassador for Sri Lanka in China, to make uh, his opening remarks. Over to you, uh, Excellency. Thank you, Anuma. Uh, Mr. Chairman, distinguished guests, uh, I'm really happy to be here this afternoon. It is afternoon here in Beijing uh, because uh, we have been working very hard at the embassy to increase the level of Sri Lankan exports to China. China, as you know, is the biggest middle class, uh, has the biggest middle class in the world, something between seven to 800 million people with surplus spending power. It is also the most lucrative consumer market in the world. Uh, the, the potential here is for a country like Sri Lanka is limitless. Already many other countries are doing extremely well out of this consumer market. It's many countries are exporting various types of products, agricultural products, uh, vegetables and fruits, fisheries products, uh, luxury goods, etc. And I'm uh, sad to say that Sri Lanka's performance is uh, not adequate. There are many reasons for this in my view, and there may be other reasons also. And uh, we heard the chairman mention a couple of them. Our lack of familiarity with the market itself, uh, the registration requirements, which most of our exporters don't seem to be aware of. There is also the question of logo registration. Uh, there are standards, uh, health-related standards, uh, and many other standards that the Chinese require of exporters to the, to the market here. And these are understandable these, uh, because China has done a tremendous job in maintaining its health standards its, uh, and, and consumer standards. And we who wish to export to this market must comply with them. There's no use uh, complaining that the standards are too hard. The standards are very hard on the Chinese themselves. So uh, we, need to, we need to ensure that we are aware of these standards and comply with them. There is also, there are also sensitivities of the Chinese people. Their, their packaging requirements, the way goods require to be packaged to be attractive to the consumer. Uh, you, you just need to walk into a shop here, a supermarket even, and see how well the goods are packed. Totally different from your experience in a supermarket in America or Australia uh, or England. And I've been in all those countries. The, the packaging requirements are, are different and, and rather demanding. So we need to be aware of all these things. And what, something that, uh, that, that intrigues me is, is even now is that the, the government customs requirements are not exactly transparent. And, every, and I, I'm familiar with some exporters who have tried hard to comply with these requirements, but have failed, have had their goods returned after reaching a harbor in, 
in China. So we, we need to be more aware of what, what the Chinese demand of us as exporters. Um, but having said that, I'm also aware that some countries in our neighborhood are doing brilliantly out of the Chinese market. It was only the other day that we heard as a seminar that uh, Bangladesh exports goods in excess of $10.4 billion, not million, billion dollars to China. Uh, Pakistan, well in excess of 15 billion, including their luscious mangoes, which we cannot export to China. Uh, Egypt, $14 billion worth of exports to China. Sri Lanka lags way behind around 232 million, not billion, million dollars worth of exports to China. And given that we have a very close relationship at the political level, I think we should do much more. And I know that the Export Development Board and this embassy have been trying hard to address this issue. And of course, I see my friends from JD.com and Prestige in the panel up there, and we have complained to them also. We signed this MOU with them over a year ago, I think about 14 or 15 months ago. And uh, I complained to them that our expectations have not been met. And not, that is not because we have not tried hard at the embassy to help them to meet our expectations. Uh, so I would like to get their views also on what more we can do. In fact, I have met our friends who were there not once, but many times. And we discussed these issues. So I, I believe that they also have to play a role in this to help us. And when they help us, they help themselves. Again, uh, JD.com is undoubtedly one of the biggest platforms, consumer platforms in China, if not the biggest. Uh, Vomai and, and Prestige. Are, are well known in this marketplace. And so it's something more has to be done than, than what is being done now. They need to advise the Export Development Board either directly or through us to ensure that Sri Lanka can do better in the Chinese marketplace. Uh, and if we are not doing something adequately, we need to know that. If we can improve on some performance, then that also we need to know. And of course, there's another message I've been trying to convey uh, to Colombo over the last few months. That is, that Sri Lanka needs to start discussing a free trade agreement or even a, an early harvest agreement. Uh, there's very little doubt that our neighbors have done well in the Chinese market because they have free trade agreements, like ASEAN has a very beneficial, very lucrative uh, free trade agreement with China, um, or, or start working on an early harvest agreement uh, that will help us to overcome some of the barriers that we face at the border today. But this message needs to be taken seriously. I believe uh, Foreign Minister Wang Yi uh, in his, uh, during his recent visit to Colombo, also mentioned this. So the message is very clear. Sri Lanka needs to take uh, it very seriously and start working on a free trade agreement. Of course, people might say that as a small country, we may not necessarily do well in a free trade agreement. Depends on how we negotiate it. And also China has assured us more than once that the objective is not to dominate and swamp the Sri Lankan marketplace, but to establish a mutually beneficial framework. And there's, very, and there's no reason to doubt that assurance. So um, having said those things, I mean, I'm not, uh, uh, forgive me or excuse me for not patting each other on the back and, uh, and saying good things and warm things. But it has come to a point where we need to identify the problems and take them head on and address them. Thank you very much for the opportunity to say my piece. And I hope we all will benefit from some of the issues that I have raised. Thank you.
Uh, thank you, uh, Excellency, for your insightful remarks uh, and uh, shedding lights on how to uh, improve our export performance to the uh, lucrative uh, Chinese market. Uh, so, uh, next is uh, uh, the so with that remarks, we can move on to the second part of uh, our uh, webinar that is the technical information sharing session. Uh, so uh, first, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Tony Meng, uh, Director International Cooperation Department, Prestige International Trading Company Limited. Uh, the company was established in year 2004 to promote economic and trade uh, cooperation between China and other overseas countries. Uh, Mr. Uh, Tony's uh, presentation will cover uh, mainly three aspects. Uh, uh, one is uh, how important how, how important uh, uh, is uh, going digital in China and China consumers e buying behaviors? How e-commerce platforms and cross-border uh, activities work in China? Uh, and also how Sri Lankan exporters should prepare for exporting, exploring Chinese market uh, through leading e-commerce platforms uh, such as uh, JD.com and uh, Bomai.com. So, uh, I cordially invite uh, the guest speaker, Mr. Tony Meng, the Director, International Cooperation Department, Prestige International Trading Company Limited, uh, to deliver his presentation. Mr. Tony, over to you. Thank you, Ms. Anoma. Uh, Your Excellency, Ambassador, uh, Mr. Chairman, and the distinguished guests, good afternoon. First of all, on behalf of Prestige, we would like to express our sincere gratitude to the Embassy of Sri Lanka in Beijing and the EDB for your constant support to our Sri Lanka National Pavilion project. And uh, with your tremendous assistance, our online national pavilion has started selling the Sri Lankan products successfully. And today, it is our pleasure to participate in this webinar and share our idea, ideas and thoughts with you regarding to the following topics. And the first topic is importance of going digital in China and the Chinese commerce, uh, consumers e-buying behavior. And nowadays, China's in the full digitalized stage of mobile internet. So the topic, so the top priorities are promoting the combination of industrialization process and the informatization process and facilitating the inter internal and the external combination. Industry convergence and uh, cross industries integration in order to increase productivity and reform the industrial structure. Uh, due to the COVID pandemic, Chinese consumers have adapted the new consumption habits which all exert a far-reaching influence on the consumption industry. The service industry, tourism industry, and the catering industry are suffering the serious impact. But the traditional economy, like the on-site service and online shopping, are reviving. And the new e-business economy, like short videos, live streaming, grow rapidly. Every year, China's online consumer spending is setting a new record. And according to the report from the National Bureau of Statistics of China, in 2021, the total online consumer spending was 13 trillion yuan. And it indicates that online consumption increasingly becomes the trend of mainstream of the consumer spending. And the e-commerce is becoming an indispensable part under the major consumption channel of the Chinese people's daily life. With the trend of fast development of the digital economy and the increase of the independent consciousness of the young generations, the development of the diversified and the personalized consumption will become significant. Meanwhile, as the increase of the number of the Chinese consumers upholding the concept of a rational and a practical consumption habit, the cost-effective products will continue to be more and more popular. 
the outbreak of the COVID pandemic makes the Chinese people realize the importance of keeping healthy and also promotes the development and the demanding of green and healthy consumption. For the second topic, how e-commerce platforms and the cross-border activities work in China. As many details are involved in this topic, so today I would like to introduce five main parts so that you could have a general idea about the whole procedure. The first part is registration procedure for both Walmart and the GT.com e-business platforms. The first step is registering the company account on both platform. The second, and the second step is preparing the documents for opening the e-shop on the platforms. The third step is activating the paying function connecting with your e-shop. The fourth is submitting the documents for the verification of the qualification to open the online shop. The last one, professional work of the setup of the online shop and the photo and the introduction of each product. The second part is logistic handling, which includes the three points. The first point is products stored in the warehouse in China for the shop opened in the general trade section. The second point is products stored in the bonded warehouse for the online shop opened in the cross-border section. And the third point is delivering the products within 48 hours. This is the requirement from the, both platforms. And the third part is monetary flows, such as the recording the number of followers of the eShop and the number of daily visitors and the calculating the conver conversion rate, etc. All this can be operated through the backend function on both PC and mobile clients. And the fourth part is intellectual property rights, which includes two points. First is the trademark registration certificate. It is a must, but either in the Sri Lanka or in China will work. And the second point is copyright of the photos and the slogans appeared on the products packing. And the last one is the regulatory framework it mainly includes the product's quality, packing, market competitiveness, and the delivery time limited efficacy, and the customer service of pre and post sales. And for the last topic, the how Sri Lankan exporters should prepare for exploring Chinese market through e-commerce platforms. Uh, I, I would like to share our cooperation procedure PPT so that you can have a better understanding of all the preparation works. Well, please allow me to share my screen. The introduction of the cooperation procedure between Sri Lankan exporters and the Prestige International. By sharing this uh, presentation, the Sri Lankan exporters will have a direct uh, understanding about what kind of the pre preparation work they should uh, make before, the, before we actually import the products into Chinese markets. It mainly includes the Nine points. The first step is the, the Sri Lankan exporters need to prepare the HS code and the ingredients of each product so that we could send all the details to the China customs for the cross check per the local policy and uh, for this, for, this, for this part, it will normally take one or two weeks for the Sri Lankan exporters to prepare all the HS codes and the ingredients information.
And the second, the primary evaluation of the prices and the packing based on the products brochure and the catalog receipts. Based on the products brochure sent by the Sri Lankan exporters, we will compare the prices with the similar products sold in the Chinese markets and also evaluate the packing design. And so the, for the Sri Lankan exporters, uh, they need to collect the, prepare the products brochure or the catalog and send it send to us through email so that we can have the start with the evaluation. And the third point is, after the primary evaluation of the products, we will select the products for further uh, study so that we will request for the samples. And uh, so the Sri Lankan exporters will help us prepare for the product samples and deliver through the FedEx or DHL. And normally it will take two weeks for us to receive the product samples. And the first one is, as soon as we receive the product samples, we will start the discussion with the local experts in the food and the beverages field about the taste, price, packing, and the sales potential. And of, of course, we will send the samples to our local distributors and collect the feedbacks from them. And after the further evaluation, the second round of evaluation, we will decide it to import the specific products. And before that, we need the documents from the Sri Lankan exporters, such as the authorization letter of, the, of being so agent in China, and the business license of the Sri Lankan exporter, and also the trademark registration certificate. And the Sri Lankan exporter can register the trademark either in Sri Lanka or in China, both will work. And the sixth stage is preparation work, preparation work of the placing order. And we will coordinate with the exporter to finalize the product's quantity, the sending contract, and making the down payment. And after we uh, make the down payment, we will start with the preparation work of making Chinese sticker and the label. This stage is very complicated and we need the huge assistance from the Sri Lankan exporters because uh, as you can see from the, on this slide, you can see the, this sample, this example of the Chinese sticker. First, we will request the wrapper artwork image of each product and also we will design the shape and the size of the Chinese sticker and also translate the English nutrition and the English information on the original packing into Chinese. And also the Sri Lankan exporters will help us to find, to measure the suitable place on the packing to paste the Chinese sticker. And also all the information, information such, like, uh, such as the country of origin, manufacture and the expired dates will be displayed on the Chinese sticker. And for this part, it will take about two to three weeks. And the eighth stage is production, shipping, and the packing translation. Normally, it will take two months. For the Sri Lankan exporters, uh, normally it, uh, uh, for them, they will need uh, four weeks for the completion of the production if we import the one full container. And also, Another, another, another four weeks for the shipping to China. And in the meanwhile, we will translate the entire English packing into Chinese. Uh, and also we will send all the documents to the China customs for the material cross check. And the last but not the least, we will have our professional photographer to take the picture of each product and also editing the Chinese advertisement slogan and the Chinese introduction of each product. All of them will be displayed on the, our eShop 
on both platforms to attract the, the Chinese consumers. Thank you. That's all about the pressure preparation work the Sri Lanka exporters should make. And also we would like to share another PPT about the progress we have been made recently. Uh, just now, we have the, I have mentioned the online National Pavilion project. And also we have started our, our construction of our National Pavilion the, of the offline the physical shops. And we choose the Beijing Xinfadi area as our offline National Pavilion physical shop. The Xinfadi market is the largest agriculture and the aquatic products wholesale market in Beijing near the South Fourth Ring Road. But this project is now continuously negotiating with the Daxing District the government of Beijing, which is located in the same area. And this is the, the image of our offline National Pavilion uh, the physical shop. And it's under construction now. And currently is under the construction and will be accomplished very soon. With the, the, the superior uh, geographic, geographical location and the fancy decoration, we believe it will bring us the opportunities to sell and to promote the Sri Lankan products. And another progress is uh, lately we have been working with the Norenko to promote the, the gift box, as you could see from this slide. We successfully prepared 900 gift box to the labor union of Norenko to celebrate the traditional Chinese New Year. And all the products inside the, uh, the gift box from, are all from Sri Lanka. And that's, and that's all for my presentation. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your uh, insightful presentation. Uh, I think uh, we can, sh uh, if uh, you can, uh, you are willing, uh, we can share those uh, presentations with the participants so that uh, they can uh, refer them and contact you. And your contact details are also, I think, uh, very useful to, uh, for our uh, participants uh, to get further clarifications as well. Uh, so with, uh, then uh, we uh, move on to the next uh, presenter, uh, that is uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Anurabanda. Uh, he's uh, uh, actually uh, representing uh, one Sri Lankan company. Uh, uh, that is Imperial uh, Tea Exports Private uh, Limited. Uh, he, he uh, the Imperial Exports Private Limited uh, is uh, uh, working with, uh, working uh, in the uh, China market for a long time. So uh, Mr. Angabanda is the representative in uh, China for uh, Imperial Tea Private Limited. He's uh, well aware of the system procedures and related areas of e-commerce platforms as well. So uh, we would like to uh, invite Mr. Angabanda to uh, uh, make a uh, rep uh, representative of uh, uh, Imperial Tea Private Limited to share his uh, knowledge and experience uh, with the participants. Uh, over to you, uh, Mr. Anura, uh, to make your uh, presentation. Thank you. Um, uh, His Excellency, Dr. Parita Kohana, Mr. Chairman, distinguished guests today, I would like to share what I am doing in China and what is my experience and how this is helped to uh, all the 
uh, SMS parties. And actually, I am working in China. This is the company is Beijing Heavenly Trade, mainly doing imperial tea products and also uh, other food items from Sri Lanka. Okay. Um, can you see my presentation? Uh, yes, we can. Uh, can you uh, put it on uh, um, right. Is that okay now? Yeah, we can see. Right, uh, right. now this is okay. Go okay, ahead. as I'm doing Ceylon tea, so first of all, I would like to say Ceylon tea, it's a Sri Lankan gift to the world. Right, this is our symbol of tea, it's quality assurance. And what I'm going to share with those uh, persons who attend the meeting, it is uh, going to do the very small introduction about IMPRA uh, and also uh, Beijing Heavenly Trade and uh, e-commerce market in China very briefly. And what are the e-commerce platform available in China? And there is another special words content it is made for China and what are the activities can work in China in e-commerce platform a popular promotion method among online platforms and heavenly trade e-commerce and my contact numbers but imperial tea is one of the very popular and major Ceylon tea exporters brand in Sri Lanka. It registered in 1994 and get into China market in 2001. Beijing Heavenly Trade Company also registered in 2006 specially to promote Ceylon products in China. At the moment promoting Impra, uh, Impra Ceylon tea, tourism, coconut products, gems and Sri Lanka spicy to different sales and channels, not only online and also um, agency, uh, agent agents and also in supermarket links. If you take e-commerce market in China, China is the world's second largest market for e-commerce. China has the largest popular with 280 million online shopping users. It is the 80% 8.3 of the internet users. Here 2020, China online retail value is 13.0884 trillion yuan and shows 40.1 growth rate than last year, including 4.408 trillion yuan consumer goods. Because I highlight this consumer goods, this is the main uh, topic for the Sri Lanka small and medium sized company to get into China market. And what are the e-commerce platform available in China? Tmall is one of the very famous Tmall, Jindong, uh, Pinduoduo, Kaolu, Little Red Books and also Taobao, I buy, we said that um, well, my one, I the last one. And Suni, this is most of uh, platform, it is doing retail. And our uh, Sri Lanka small and medium and also large company can get into those uh, platforms and do the just retail. And this is I uh, listed some of our who do the wholesale market, especially very famous Alibaba and Go, Taobao and made in China. And also others, uh, not only the very famous online platform who do the retail and also uh, wholesale, there are various type of online selling is doing door-to-door -door delivery service with products. I listed some of them, 
client software, we chat group, online community service, online community group purchasing, Jingxi, Fengxiang, Taota, the daily optimal pressures. And <clears throat> uh, I saw in our meeting, there is a, a represent from the buff pro. And last three years ago, I heard about the uh, concept, say, made for China. This is very important for us as a small country, as a small company and middle-sized company to get into China. That's why I highlight this, uh, because uh, they said not any products you can get into the China. Yes, you can get, but they are special, say, made for China. That means you can produce some products especially for China market. Then to produce, do the producing, you have to know about the cons Sanura, we can't hear you. Mr. Anura. Stanley, seems uh, uh, your connection uh, has an issue. Video is not playing. Mr. Anura, can you hear us? Mr. Anura, you, uh, I think you have to skip that slide and go to the next slide. Right, you can start from this uh, slide, Mr. Anura. We can't hear you. Can you speak? Mm -hmm. Mr. Anura, can you hear us now? Yes, I can hear Miss. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think uh, video is not supported uh, due to some bandwidth uh, issue or something. So you can start uh, the, uh, from the next, this slide. What are the activities right. can work? Got it. Yes, go ahead. Right? Go ahead. So, um, I have uh, listed some of uh, activities can work in the e-commerce platform. Uh, uh, different platforms, they have different, different activities, but commonly, every platform can use following festival to increase the sale. China meet. Mid-Autumn Festival, 
National Day, New Year, New Year Day, Lantern Festival, International Women's Day. And um, there are some, some other special days. Uh, most of uh, e-commerce platform they are using heavily increase uh, themselves, especially 11th of November, 12th of December, uh, 4th of uh, 14th of February, Valentine's Day. And also most of platform, they are using anniversary day as a shopping festival. And individually, we can see most of uh, online sales company do following activities uh, on the uh, online platform. Fans exclusive, interactive gift, VIP exclusive offer, coupon form fan, coupon for spread and shares, coupon for promoting activities, rush to buy exclusive coupon, gift for signing user, lottery, gift for the stores, gift for user adding a store to favorite, gift for new user, gift for user who offer valuable comments, limited time sales with heavy discount with gift. Those are very famous method on the online platforms. And also uh, encourage user and consumer to share, promote product links with the other community platform to increase the uh, exposure and order and other opportunities and brand awareness. If transactions are done on these community platforms, the shares and promotion will be rewarded as a bonus. Uh, in my company also, I have done a lot of this kind of promotion. Right, next stage is heavenly trade e-commerce. What I do in China, we are selling our products through following online platform, JD.com, Taobao, Tmall, Amazon, I buy Alibaba and also there are a special platform Ren, uh, Ren and Dia. We achieved about 6 million RMB annual sales continuously. We have about 12 st staff to manage all online sales. Others uh, supporting three staff, especially uh, doing uh, packing dispatch part. Every shop need shop manager uh, he have to be responsible for daily work, doing promotion, discussion with purchase, uh, purchasing manager, cooperate with other, other suppliers. Customer service person, he has to work 24 hours in the best. Need a mobile and computer, he have to work in 24 hours, even at midnight. Packing person, normally one packing person can do 200 to three or 400 packing, it depends on the size. Uh, every day. So need stock in good in China. Uh, it can depend on the uh, how many platforms you are working with and uh, packing tapes, paper balls and other free samples for every products. So what uh, Heavenly uh, Company can do for our Sri Lankan companies. Heavenly Company is uh, the uh, national brand partners of ECCAC ECA organization. This is a platform which can support imported products to China market. In this platform, we sell only made for China products. This is a very good chance to get into China market. We are working also one of the biggest Zhejiang live stream company under made for China concept, which can promote all products from Sri Lanka. We are working with uh, Shandong, a new free trade zone, which can support air and sea transportation, China local transportation, making value-added products with raw material from Sri Lanka and also providing financial support this free trade zone can support you to import goods which has restriction for China market, some kind of uh, products, especially like spicy food, spicy, 
because we cannot import bulk spice to China without uh, uh, quota. So we can import spicy to the free trade soon and do small packing and get into the China market. Uh, that's all I what I prepared. Uh, if anyone want to take more details, please contact. This is my contact with, uh, details. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Anura, uh, for your uh, presentation uh, with uh, sharing your experience in China market, how to sell uh, Sri Lankan products online. Uh, so uh, you you have you have a video to play as well. Uh, yeah. You can uh, do it. So maybe uh, EDB uh, can play that uh, for you. It is uh, on the concept of made for China. I believe. Yes, please. That is made for China. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you uh, stop sharing? Okay. Now we uh, play the video. So can I play you? Uh, no, EDB will play it uh, yes. because there is a bandwidth issue from your side. Sanru, you have any uh, explanation or you need to make any remarks on that video? Uh, that is the, uh, at the moment, the products made for China, they selected and uh, go through the ECA uh, organization. So in future, if there are any other Sri Lankan products can, uh, would like to get into China market and also go for the online uh, platform, uh, we also can go to them. We are a, a VIP partner with the ICA organization. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, so with that, uh, we will move on to the last part of the uh, today's uh, webinar, that is the Q&A session. Uh, panel, is, uh, panel will consist of Mr. Tony Meng, Director, International Cooperation Department, and his team uh, from Prestige International Trading Company Limited. Uh, Mr. Alex Chu uh, from China Oil and Food Stuff Corporation, that is COFCO, and Mr. Andrew Banda uh, representing Imperial Tea Private Limited. So uh, we already received uh, questions uh, during the registration uh, period. I will uh, divide them according to the nature of the question and ask from the uh, panel members. Uh, first question goes to uh, Mr. Tony Meng and his team from Prestige International. Uh, Mr. Tony, uh, the question is uh, the biggest difficulty in international business is the long and complex regulatory requirements. What kind of relaxation can Sri Lankan exporters expect 
through e-commerce platforms. Uh, do your agency support for those registration requirements, such as logo registration, business registration in China? Thank you. In fact, the regulatory uh, requirements are implemented by the government under the online platforms. And these policies are strict to both online and offline distribution channels. Um, and we could help the exporter with the registration procedure in China. But uh, the cost associated with the registration will be covered by the exporters. Um, if the Sri Lanka exporters uh, who works with us, uh, we have the strong connection with both uh, JD.com and Wombat.com. Maybe we can help them to accelerate the, and shorten the time for the registration online. Thank you. Right, thank you. Uh, next question is also for your team. Uh, this is the question. In order to enlist in Chinese e-commerce platforms, do the exporters require a partner who will hold the stock in China? Uh, thank you. Actually, the online shops can be opened in both general trade section and the cross-border section. If the, if the Sri Lankan exporter opens the e-shop in, in the general trade section, then they don't need the, a partner who will hold the stock in China. They, will, they cannot, they, they will need a partner who will hold the stock in China. If they open the e-shop in the cross-border e-business section, then they, they will not need the partner. Thank you. Uh, uh, next question goes to Mr. Alex Chu from China Oil and Foodstuff, uh, Foodstuff uh, Corporation, COFCO. Uh, Mr. Alex, question, uh, the question is, can perishable food products sell through online platforms? If yes, uh, what is the logistic handling process for perishable products? Should the quarantine clearance obtained for these products? Over to you, Mr. Alex. Uh, your mic is on mute. Switch on the mic, Mr. Alex. Okay. okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, for my answer, the first question is definitely yes. Uh, over the past uh, two decades, the e-commerce has a profound de development in China market. Uh, currently, we generally sell everything online from fresh fruit to aquatic food to ice, ice cream, anything you can buy from offline market. It's also available online. For the parish product, I think the key point is the cold chain. Maybe from Sri Lanka, we'd better use the refer container. When we arrived in China, refrigerated warehouse is very important. And for the last mile, of course, I think we'd better use bubble chamber ice bag, even dry ice when necessary to keep the goods in good condition and quality. So the logistics is not a thing to afraid of. And the only point we should pay attention to is to consider in advance the cost of cold chain is very high. So we should process high value products. And for the last question, for the quarantine clearance, sure, it's very important. As the COVID-19 is still a huge threat to the human being, it will never be ignored. Yes, madam. All right. Thank, uh, thank you, Mr. Alex. Uh, so uh, the okay. next questions uh, are mainly for uh, uh, Mr. Tony Ming and his team, uh, more on the logistics side of uh, e-commerce. Uh, first one is uh, cost associated with the registration and operational activities to exporters. Do you have any idea uh, on this uh, question? Yes, thank you. Uh, actually, the 
Sri Lankan exporters need to pay the cost for the registration and the operational activities on the e-business platforms. But the exact amount of the associated costs are different for the different types of the products sold in the e-shop and also the different operational activity, activities organized by the e-business platforms. Thank you. Right, thank you. Uh, the next question is uh, procedure of monetary uh, transaction uh, for their goods uh, uh, sell through the uh, online. Uh, how the, what is the procedure uh, when we send the goods, how the funds come into Sri Lanka? When the exporters activate their financial function uh, linked to their e-shop, they will, they will uh, use their international bank account and all the, the monetary transactions will be through the bankware transfer. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so uh, two questions from uh, uh, Mr. Anura. Yes. Uh, one is, uh, according to uh, your knowledge, what are the other sectors of Sri Lanka which can offer through these e-commerce platforms? I think uh, you have already uh, answered, but uh, can you uh, clarify that as well? Uh, yes. Mr. Alex also said uh, anything can be sold. Yeah, it is really true. Now in uh, e-commerce sector, in, in uh, online platform, you can sell anything. Only the thing is, once you get into the online uh, system, you have to have enough stock in China. Otherwise, you will uh, make uh, difficulty in uh, delivery uh, basis uh, because uh, it is uh, very costly if you send in from Sri Lanka. So it is better whatever you are going to sell in online so online platform, seafood, fruit, and all the consumer food. Even you can sell vehicle and gems and precious uh, products also in uh, online. But the thing is, you better have small or uh, good enough stock in China. Whatever you have stock in China, you can sell in um, online platforms. Okay. Uh, another question, uh, Mr. Anura. Uh, what is the uh, your your advice or the message to SME uh, SME sector in uh, Sri Lanka? Maybe uh, yeah, um, and upcoming companies. Yes, um, uh, I have met a lot of Sri Lankan uh, companies in the exhibitions, and most of them are not well known about the China uh, regulation, especially the monthly outcome new regulation. Uh, the law. So in that side, we can support. Uh, and also, uh, some of uh, companies, they don't know uh, the custom clearance process. Uh, and also what you have to do before you export. And those process have to know uh, before you start getting into the China market. Once you get into China market, especially in the online side, you have to make in Chinese language, all the pages in the website. So in that part also we can support. And uh, what I uh, mentioned in my presentation in Shandong Free Trade Zone, in that Free Trade Zone can support small and medium sized companies. Because uh, some of companies, I know Sri Lanka, some of companies, they are doing spicy and some of are doing uh, uh, seafood. Uh, crabs, fish, kind of, and also fruit. Very easy to uh, going out there, uh, out there. So that kind of uh, products can go through the Shandong uh, free trade soon because they have very good platform. I can support those uh, companies who uh, would like to get into China market. Okay. Uh, we have two more questions uh, for uh, Mr. Tony and his team. Uh, are you ready to take the questions? Yes, please. Uh, minimum order quantity requirement for registration under the e-commerce e platforms. Is there uh, some, uh, any requirement like that? Minimum order quantity? 
Uh, actually, there's no MOQ requirement for the e-business platforms. Thank you. Uh, once an uh, exporter registered through the uh, platform, what are the marketing tools available to uh, stimulate buyers? Thank you. I think Mr. Anura has mentioned a lot of the marketing tools uh, in his uh, presentation. Uh, so the exporter, exporters could pay for the promotion events uh, organized by the platform. And also, uh, such as paying for the golden advertisement space on the homepage of the platforms, so that the shop can attract more followers and the visitors to promote the sale, so to promote the sales of the products. Thank you. Right. Uh, so uh, thank you very much, uh, panel. I think uh, you all uh, you all have uh, uh, done a good job in uh, clarifying the questions uh, from the participants. And we have uh, new questions or the uh, new request uh, to share information and uh, these um, uh, promotional uh, tools you have used. Uh, during the uh, webinar, if uh, it is okay, we can, uh, if you can uh, share it with us, we can uh, circulate to the members together with your contact details to get any more uh, uh, clarification if they want. Uh, so with that, uh, we, uh, we have, uh, we are now at the uh, uh, last part of the webinar. Uh, just to say thank you for everybody on behalf of Sri Lanka Export Development Board. I would like to thank all of you for joining the webinar. Uh, my special thanks uh, goes to uh, Excellency uh, Dr. Palita Kohona, the Ambassador of Sri Lanka to China, uh, and officers of the Embassy for extending all the support to promote Sri Lanka's exports to uh, China. Uh, I also uh, like to express our sincere thanks to uh, Mr. Tony uh, Meng, Director, International Cooperation Department, and his team, uh, Mr. Alex Chu, uh, and his team from China Oil and Foodstuff Corporation, that is COFCO, for accepting EDB's invitation to share their experience and knowledge. I also thank Mr. Anurubanda, representative from uh, Imperial Teas uh, Private Limited for accepting the invitation to share uh, your experience uh, with other Sri Lankan companies uh, to encourage them to explore uh, the Chinese market. Uh, so uh, I hope this webinar is uh, useful uh, to our participants and thank you for your uh, participation and active, uh, interaction. Uh, so with that, uh, I end this uh, webinar. Thank you everyone. Have a good day.